What do international students think about us Finnish people? Keep watching and find out. What's up, Finnish fantastics? My name is Alex, and I make authentic, fun, and useful videos about Finland. So if you're interested in Finland, do me a favor and hit that subscribe and the bell button so you don't miss any awesome Finnish stuff on this channel. Today I'm here at the Tampere University of Technology, and I'm going to interview some random international students and ask them what they think about us Finnish people. Let's go check it out. I come from Mexico and I'm a PhD student, so I'm studying security. So I come from Iran and I study information technology in communication and computer networks. I come from India and uh, I'm doing my PhD in uh, the laboratory of industrial information management. Same it's as the above. Same, same as, <laughs> same okay, as above. Same. <laughs> yeah. right. I come from Bangladesh and I study here smart grids. It's a discipline of electrical engineering. Same as me, like I'm from Bangladesh also. We're in the same program. Like. I come from India and I'm doing in what am I doing? Yeah, industrial engineering. Same. Uh, from Nigeria and I'm studying industrial and engineering management. Okay. I come from Egypt and I'm studying industrial engineering and management as well. Introvert when not drunk, extrovert when drunk, honest. Drunk was the first part. <laughs> okay. There are two different people. One non-drunk Finn who is silent mm. all the time. Drunk Finn who is educated. You can <laughs> Okay. <laughs> They're too honest. Honest beyond point of honesty. Okay. One would be awkwardly fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Shy and polite. They are not hostile and I think they are not also friendly. Not so friendly. Yeah, I mean you can they're always friendly if I ask for help. But uh, unlike in India or Bangladesh, they are not too eager to communicate. But oh. they are always like in our country people some people are very eager and they'll see you and they'll say foreign and they'll come to you. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Oh, okay. But these things doesn't happen here. Problem is maybe education is like that that it's better not to bother other uh, unless he do not like to be bothered. So I think no, they are actually funny. Okay. They're honest, quite friendly. Like if you like once you become close with someone, then they are so friendly and helpful. Like most of the people, I think they agree with me. They are always silent. They are kind of very friendly people, but you have to approach first, so you can just make right. the connection. Boys are very handsome, I think, also. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Okay. And the girls. Good yeah. yeah, yeah, good looking people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And these three objectives, yeah. Mm. Shy. Shy? Yeah, I have the same thing, actually. I, I, I said it for you, Dean, so it's okay. <laughs> Shy. Silent. Honest. Honest? Yeah, they are honest and, yeah. and smart. Hard on what? Smart? <laughs> okay. I'd say smart. <laughs> Maybe hard working. Yeah, it's partially true, I think, because you have to be very active to engage with Finnish people. So you have to go and look for them because they will not come to you and look for you. So they have their own friends. If you want to break that barrier and break the ice, then you have to go for them and watch around yourself because there's always people interested in talking with, but you are shy, they are shy as well. So it's never going to happen. In my apartment, I live in a two shared, three shared apartment. So the other two guys are Finnish guys. In Iran, we if we we were like three Iranian people, we had like we would spend a lot of time to, with each other. But this is not happening right now because first, I think they need their own privacy because the door, the bedroom doors are always closed, so I can't approach them that much. Maybe I will see them in the kitchen, so I can just speak like two or three sentences and. That's it actually, but to comparing to our cultures, we can just know about each other's like private uh, living stuff. And But with Finnish people, I think it's not like this. I mean, in my case, it's not really like this. So I can speak about their own life or what do they do during the day. It's a bit complicated, yeah. I don't think so, it's uh, difficult. It's like always you should have the enthusiasm that you need to go fast. Unless mm. these guys is not drunk. <laughs> but if you want uh, some feedback that I didn't get feedback, so I won't go there anymore, then I think it's difficult. You should take the initiative to be friend with them or, yeah. or like to talk with them. Uh, I guess this is the main thing. <laughs> okay. But they never ignore anyone actually. 
Oh, okay. I mean, I saw those things getting ignored in my country, but it's, it doesn't happen here, if okay. you want attention. No, I think it's not that difficult. I think you have to make an effort and, for example, I have some of my closest friends who are Finns. I met them, of course, in the university. We play floorball together. It's like if you go to any country, it takes time to meet the locals. But once you do meet, then it's easy. Okay. Yeah, you just have to know when to speak. If you speak after you're drunk, <laughs> it's the easiest. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sauna probably is the fa Our best sauna place heads. to meet a Finn. Okay. I would say it depends on the occasion. Like for example in the university, if we are already in the... Like let's say we have the same course or something, that, that would be easy to mm. make friends out of it. But normally if you are like somewhere outside, that would be quite tough. Unless Finnish people are drunk, then ah. that, would be, okay. that would be the easiest. To, yeah, to approach. Mm. My opinion would be a little different because even if you are in the same class, it's very rarely that, you know, any kind of a conversation. True. It, it would in depend maybe case, on yes, the personality, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's very rarely a conversation should hap would happen, but maybe eventually you meet here and there and you smile for like two weeks, maybe the third week a conversation might happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's better. I think the club, like student clubs in school, there is a lot of Finnish people so are like Finnish students are joining here and like working together and have fun, parties and so on. Yeah, I guess the best place is to meet Finnish in student clubs, like ESM or something. Doing hobbies outside of the university is the best way. Because at the university is very easy to fall in the trap of doing uh, things with people from your country or that speak your language. But if you do hobbies outside of the university, then you find that over there it's very rare to, to find someone from your own country. Mm. It's just a bunch of Finns and then you get to meet them and then you have to have contact with them and you get to know them better, so that's the best way. All right. Maybe somewhere in the university that you have some common courses together as a group, if you do a group work, because I had two or three friends like this. We had a group work and we were doing it together, so we kind of speak to each other. But outside the class, not happened actually. But yeah, most of the time it's in the university, but not outside the university. Okay. Never have Probably sauna with a drink. <laughs> I think that's the best. Public sauna. Public sauna even better, yeah. If you want to really meet unknowns, then yes, public sauna. In a pub, when you are drunk enough and they are drunk more than you. Okay. Sauna. <laughs> sauna, yeah, just go to the sauna, everything will be fine. Bars or clubs? Bars or clubs. For example, like I have many uh, university friends already, Finnish friends. Mm. They are from, let's say, we share the same guild, we share the same, uh, we had the same courses. I knew them through someone, other mm. Finnish person, but, um, but I wouldn't say that I have so far like close friends. I'm here since August, last August. Mm. Yeah, not yet, so, <laughs> but yet. Okay. hopefully, yeah. In the progress. In the progress, yeah. Okay. yeah. The ones that I would know are my friends' uh, spouses. Ah, Usually okay. either husband or wife, um, since they come out together for uh, dinner or to a club or something like mm. that I have met and we have a, like a common friendship kind of. Most of my friends are Finns, yeah, like 95% of them and I got in touch with them through hobbies, basically the gym or dancing or partying as well. Oh, okay, well that's yeah. Good, yeah. yeah, but mostly, mostly dancing and partying. Although I don't have that much, I'm not really close to my friends in my apartment, but they are very great friends. I mean, if I want to speak with them, they are okay, they will listen. It's okay, but like just going more deeper is not okay. One of my closest friends is a Finn and he visited India for my wedding, so uh, I met him, we, I used to stay in Mikondolo, so I met him there. Still a good friend of mine, he's also my business partner, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Good relationship there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have made few Finnish friends. Some of them I met during the course. Some of them I think I just met <laughs> out, like I told you, somewhere out drinking, and then that's how we they became. Like how we met you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I went to the bar. There is a concert. That he is a singer, and after he's singing in Finnish after his performance, I went straight and I talked to him that. 
uh, I like your music. But then he asked me that, where are you from? What do you do? And I said, I'm a student. That he said, I am also in the same discipline. Oh, okay. So this is how we become friends. To me, it's like I'm a active member of a club, like I stay. Oh, I stay. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I have quite few good friends there. And also, the class lecture can be a good option. <laughs> <laughs>I would recommend going outside and meet Finns. I think that's uh, very important. Uh, give yourself the chance to go and make very good friends with Finns because it's completely different when you look at them from outside and then when you are part of the group. So definitely do that. You have to be very active looking for Finnish friends because they will not come to you. Don't feel offended if there is a person who is from Finland and is silent in front of you. Just talk for a while and he, he or she will open up. So I at least I remember once one of my friends he uh, so her girlfriend was not from Finland but uh, so she asked why do you hate me why do you hate me so much <laughs> so he had a very nice wow. answer that I don't hate you I hate people in general so oh. and I don't <laughs> like to talk so it is very oh. <laughs> okay. I'm here for almost two years and I never get any sort of negative feedback, negative attitude from any fans. Even when they are drunk, even uh, even when they are drunk, there is I mean, they are drunkless in, in in kind of such limit. It's never exceeds such limit. Uh -huh. okay. So and if you want to make friendship with fans, there uh, there is only one single rule: you have to take the initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I must say, like I have been here for two years and almost. Quite a good experience for me, decent enough and friendly and also helpful. I can say like if I did some mistake, that they, they, they would never tell me, like, okay. Uh, describe it in a decent way. So this is the more like, good thing I, I experienced. Okay. Yeah, so thank you. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are back here. <laughs> I, what can I say? There's so many people said like shy, silent, drunk, that kind of stuff. So I don't even know what to say. But to be honest, I wasn't really surprised. Those are some of the characteristics that come always up when people talk about us fans. So, but it's kind of a little sad, but that's just how it is. But really important thing was also that if you want to make Finnish friends, you need to take action because you know if you are shy, they are shy. Nothing's gonna, ever, nothing's ever gonna happen. So you have to be active yourself. But nevertheless, there were people who said they have, they have very good friends, even business partners. So it's not difficult. You have to just be active yourself. And remember to check out these other videos where I also interviewed exchange students about Finland, so definitely check it out. And remember to subscribe to join our fantastic squad. See you in the next video, somewhere.